You have to decide if you want to make it, if you want to make it right. I'm not going to choose that. It's something that you do. <laughs> I'm about to go get a refill. Does anybody want anything else? There's no. plenty of food left. No, I am super good. <sighs> Me too. Suit yourself. Okay. Okay. Now that he's gone, I want to hear all the dirt. Well, there's really nothing much to tell. He's actually an open book. Mm -hmm. You can ask him anything you want to know. He'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> what did I miss? Uh, nothing really. Okay, Wayne, I have a question for you. What's up? How come you two never dated? <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, why don't you answer that? Um, it's because we're family and we both knew it instantly. Yeah, mm -hmm. family. family. Yeah, that's it, we're family. Mm. What about you and Joshua right here? Mm. To be uh, honest, I don't know. But what I do know is that our friendship has lasted a lot longer than any relationship I've ever had. <laughs> oh. Patrick, brunch was delicious. Mm. Yes. It was very good, but I can't take the credit. Wayne actually cooked everything oh. by himself. Well, may I kiss the cook? I insist. <laughs> Uh, well, I would love to sit and kiki with you boys all day, but I have a prior engagement. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have to get going as well. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. <laughs> well, Patrick, once again, thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming. It was my pleasure, really. Yes. And Wayne, next time you cook, you better call me. <laughs> I promise. It's a date. All right. I'll walk you around, okay? All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> what do you think? Joshua, what the hell are you doing? What are you talking about? I'm walking to the door. No, 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 no. What are you doing with him? With who, Patrick? Yes. I think I'm falling in love. Listen, I was all on board when you first two connected. And I'm all about experimenting sexually. But have you ever heard of fuck him and chuck him, freak him and leave him, or even hit it and quit it? I mean, we're all curious about crossing over to the dark side, but once that's actualized, you move on. I mean, do you really see a future with him? Yes. Why wouldn't I? Uh, he's a bartender for starters. Well, my bartender makes more than both of us. You don't understand, we have a connection. We have so much in common. We both love wine, and romantic comedies, and the <laughs> arts. Oh, the arts. Uh, uh, Joshua, you have that in common with almost every gay man in America, not just Patrick. Why can't you just be happy for me? I do, I really want to be happy for you, but can you really see him fitting into our circle? And what will your family say when you bring him home to Connecticut for the holidays? You need to come back down to reality and get out of the clouds, okay? I mean, we live in LA. A city that's all about perception. You're acting like I've never dated outside my race before. I've dated Asians, Hispanics, Europeans, and you've never had a problem. So no. why do you have a problem with this? Oh, it's because he's black. Uh, don't make me out to be the bad guy. I just never knew that you were so honest. Honest. You know what? You can keep dreaming if you want to. This is still Trump's America. And we both know what I'm saying is true. So when this little crusade of yours comes to an abrupt stop, I'll help you get back on track. Just hear me out. I don't remember the last time I felt this way about any guy, black, white, or whatever. When I am with him, there's no anxiety. It's, there's no awkwardness. It's just natural. We just fit. And also, he accepts all of my flaws. All of them. Patrick is the one. I can feel it. Sweetie, I really want you to find your Prince Charming and live happily ever after. I really do, but I don't think it's him. I have to go. I'm late already. We'll talk soon.
<laughs> so, Brad was kind of fun, don't you think so? He, he was cool. Well, I think he might have a little crush on you. I'm sure it was harmless flirting. I know I'm not his type. Now, what does that mean? You know I'm gonna give it to you straight, no chaser. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I love your mean ass. <laughs> Real talk, why do you hate yourself? What the hell are you talking about? I don't hate myself. First, it was Jose, the Latino. Now, it's Joshua, the white boy. I guess I'm asking, why do you hate black men? Look, I don't hate black men. I mean, I just love all men. What's wrong with that? Isn't love supposed to be colorblind? No, that's some bullshit. We have all fantasized about playing in the snow, including myself, but then we quickly find out that it's just cold and the reality doesn't live up to its fantasy. I've seen this scenario play out time and time again. First, he's gonna try to convince you that racism doesn't exist. Then he's gonna sexualize you. And then he's gonna criminalize you. Then he's gonna get a, a white boy and marry him. <laughs> they are gonna get a condo in West Hollywood where they have their all white dinner parties and they talk and joke about the times Joshua slumped around the likes of you. Damn, bitter much? Not bitter, just concerned. Well, don't be, because I can take care of myself. Can you? Look, you don't get it, we're a match. I mean, we both love fitness and eating healthy and working out and hiking running. And so does every gym bunny in the 10 mile radius. Wayne, I really need you to understand. When I'm with Joshua, it's like ice cream on a hot summer day. The cold hardwood floors on a Saturday morning, with just a lazy Sunday lying in bed. When I'm with him, it feels like home. Joshua is home to me. He's the one. I know it. I love that you're an optimistic, hopeless romantic. Hell, it inspires me. I also know that you value marriage and settling down over everything. And I can see that for you. I just don't see it happening with him. And one more thing. Wayne, what else do you possibly have to say? Everyone's looking for love, Patrick. But you can't lose yourself in the process. I'm out. Yeah, get the fuck out.